When you go out, you, you, you go through a continuum. You, first of all, you'll feel cold, then you'll feel pain, then you'll feel numb, and then you'll feel nothing. And uh, it's really uh, problematic. People often think once they feel nothing that everything's okay, it, they're better. The problem is they're actually getting, they're, that should be a major warning sign that you're getting close to, to frostbite because uh, the reason we feel different is because uh, as neurons and pain receptors get colder, they don't work as well to a point where they're so cold that they don't work at all. So we use numbness as a major uh, warning sign. And we tell people never accept numbness. If you're numb because it's cold, you need to do. You need to change something. You need to go go inside or start working. Put more clothing on. Uh, you know, put some hot shot uh, hot shots in your mitts or whatever. Don't don't put your hands over uh, dry heat like a fire or the stove because you could burn your fingers. in. but uh, you know, change something. And and at the very least. Uh, you can even put your your ha fingers in your armpits. You can almost, in all, unless you have to have your hands to do something, like you're climbing a mountain or something, you're trying to get down and in a blizzard, okay, you don't have a choice. But many people are either just out walking, skiing, or just sitting waiting to be rescued somewhere and their hands are just sitting on their lap and they get frostbite. You can almost 100% prevent frostbite by putting your fingers in your armpits. I tell people, if you have your fingers in your armpits and they get frostbitten, frostbite's not your biggest problem.